One of the earliest and worst hit states to battle COVID-19, New Jersey is once again seeing a surge of new coronavirus infections that is not expected to substantially decrease before the end of July, according to new predictive models released Wednesday, despite the race to vaccinate residents against the surge. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy noted Wednesday the predictive models vary day by day and are likely to change with the state's COVID-19 situation, particularly as people either take increased or fewer public health precautions. While he did not rule it out, the Democratic governor suggested during a press briefing he was unlikely to reimpose restrictions in the state that have been rolled back despite the increase in cases. New York City will likely see a similar trajectory to neighboring New Jersey, epidemiologists predicted to the New York Times Wednesday. Experts projected the city would likely continue to record approximately 4,000 daily cases through at least mid-May, despite rising vaccination rates 032.7 percent. That's the percentage of New Jersey residents that have received at least one COVID-19 vaccine dose as of Wednesday, according to Murphy, the eighth highest percentage of any state. Nationally, approximately 29.4 percent of Americans, 37.7 percent of those over age 18, have received at least one dose, according to the CDC. New Jersey's rising cases are part of a broader trend of COVID-19 infections going up nationwide, particularly in northeastern states and in Michigan. The increase comes as governors have rolled back restrictions and, in some cases, dropped them entirely, despite increased travel over spring break and as more transmissible coronavirus variants spread. Though New Jersey has maintained more restrictions than some other states, the state has taken steps like increasing indoor dining and other business capacity to 50 percent, and Murphy lifted even more measures on large venues and social gatherings Monday despite the present surge. Public health officials had advised governors against rolling back restrictions and have warned the new trend of cases increasing nationwide could lead to a fourth surge of cases, despite vaccine distribution substantially expanding across the country. CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky warned Monday she feels a sense of impending doom, but governors have so far not taken steps to reimpose restrictions. Whitmer and other governors justify reopenings despite Biden and CDC warning of COVID-19 surge. Forbes, CDC chief warns of impending doom, as COVID-19 cases, hospitalizations and deaths all rise. Forbes, cases are rising again in the US for these two main reasons. Fauci says, Forbes, N. Jay's new COVID surge may not peak until May under worst-case scenario, models predict, NJ.com, the new normal in NY, high virus rates and a steady stream of cases, New York Times, full coverage and live updates on the coronavirus.